beautiful people and welcome back to Wine Chat. My name is Emma and I'm a certified sommelier with a mission to spread wine knowledge and to help you drink better. It is time to round off our New Zealand wine series by taking a look at the red wine that comes from the country that is the Long White Cloud. Is there more to New Zealand wine than just Pinot Noir? What styles are produced and what regions do they come from? Let's chat about it. Pinot Noir is the most planted red grape in New Zealand and the second most planted grape overall. The first commercial bottlings weren't until 1987, so it's crazy to think that even today it is considered to be one of the top regions in the world for high quality Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is a grape that thrives in a cooler climate and that's why it's most at home in regions like Central Otago, Marlborough, Wairarapa, and North Canterbury. Although these regions are all cool enough to grow world-class quality Pinot Noir, there's also a huge diversity when it comes to the climates and the soils, which enables a diverse range of styles of New Zealand Pinot Noir to be produced. And there's actually a small amount of Pinot Noir planted in almost every single region. Central Otago at the bottom of the South Island has the top reputation for high quality Pinot Noir. But did you know it's actually the second most planted region of Pinot Noir? Here the wines will generally have bright red fruit flavours, but the diverse sub-regions will all bring something a little bit different to each of their Pinot Noirs. Wines from Gibson Valley will have a sweet, soft and upfront fruitiness, whereas the Pinots coming from Bannockburn will be fuller in body and more tannic. My personal favourite region in New Zealand for Pinot Noirs is the Wairarapa, and this is a region that is at the very bottom of the North Island. Wairarapa only has just over 500 hectares of Pinot Noir planted, but the Pinot Noirs that do come from here are darker fruited, more tannic and have a Burgundian elegance to them. The main region in Wairarapa is Martinborough and the Pinot Noirs that come from here will often be structured and rich with aromas of dark plum and chocolate. Marlborough, of course, has the most amount of Pinot Noir planted in the country with over two and a half thousand hectares. The Pinot Noirs that come from here are usually fresher with a more vibrant acidity. Personally, I find the Pinot Noirs that come from Marlborough to be lighter and a little bit more easier drinking. There are of course exceptions to this with people like Arnsfield and Saracen who make darker and more complex styles of Pinot Noir. The top spot for growing high quality Pinot Noir in Marlborough is in the southern valleys at the foot of the Wither Hills on rich clay soils. The border grapes of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot find their home in the warmer North Island regions of Auckland and Hawke's Bay. Both grapes are bottled on their own and blended together to make some delicious Bordeaux style wines. Merlot is the more popular grape of the two as it's easier to grow in New Zealand's climate and it has 1,087 hectares planted throughout the whole country. Cabernet Sauvignon might be responsible for some of New Zealand's most iconic and expensive wines but it makes up less than 1% of New Zealand's production and it has just over 200 hectares planted nationwide. Cabernet Sauvignon is the major blending partner in iconic wines such as Timata's Coleraine and Stony Ridge's La Rose. It brings to the wines an intense structure and finesse. Hawke's Bay has the largest amount of plantings in the country of both Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. The grapes here benefit from the diversity of soils, including the area of Gimlet Gravels, which is an area that has deep shingle soils. In 1867, the Gimlet Gravels was the Omaha channel of the Nogaroo River, meaning that it was completely underwater. The soils in Gimlet Gravels are essentially pure gravel beds with sand, clay and silt at various depths. The average temperature in the Gimlet Gravels is up to 3 degrees warmer than the rest of Hawke's Bay, meaning that it is the perfect area to grow both Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot and also fantastic for growing Syrah. Merlot based wines are often 
rich and plummy in their youth but gain complexity as they age. Cabernet Sauvignon wines from here display the classic flavours of blackcurrant and spice with a touch of mint. Auckland has only just over 36 hectares of Merlot planted and just over 20 hectares of Cabernet Sauvignon planted. But what little amount is planted here makes some of the most intense and concentrated wines of New Zealand. Syrah is a grape that has a long history in New Zealand dating back to the mid 1800s but today it has less than 1% of the total production. Syrah can be found planted in almost every single region but the main home for it is the Hawke's Bay in the North Island where it has almost 400 hectares planted. New Zealand Syrahs will often have bright and spicy flavours crammed with plum, savoury black pepper and an elegant texture that is reminiscent of a elegant Northern Rhone Syrah. Hawke's Bay is the perfect home for Syrah, just like Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, it excels when it's planted in the Gimlet gravels. There are some excellent examples coming from wineries like Craggy Range, Timata and Trinity Hill. Auckland also has a tiny 51 hectares of Syrah planted and most of that is situated on the Waiheke Island. Here the clay rich soils of the island produce fuller bodied and richer stars with brambly and peppery flavours. Some of my favourite Waiheke Island examples of Syrah come from the wineries of Manor War and Cable Bay. So that is it for our third and final video in our New Zealand wine series. I hope I have inspired you to get out there and hunt down a delicious bottle of New Zealand wine. Let me know in the comments which New Zealand wine you are most looking forward to trying. As always, hit that like button and make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss a video of Wine Chat. And until next time guys, drink better, be better.